Good morning guys and welcome to Saturday's Free Racing Tips video. Hope you're all doing well. It's the start of a bank holiday weekend. Really, really busy day of action today. Cracking racing from uh, the UK and Ireland. It's of course Temple Stakes Day and uh, the Silver Bowl coming from Haydock. That's probably that's the feature meeting of the day. And also over in Ireland, it's the, we're racing at the Curra where it is the Irish 2000 Guineas where Glen Eagles is... Probably a favourite that is going to be really, really hard to beat, but the odds reflect that. This year's 2000 Guineas, there wouldn't be a, a betting um, race for me, but we could see something special in Glen Eagles. Could he be this year's Kingman? This is kind of uh, the real test to see just how good he is, I suppose, in some ways. As well as that, we raced today from Goodwood, Catterick, Beverly, Fosslass and Salisbury. So a really busy day. After a good day Thursday, just didn't quite happen for us yesterday. Just the one winner which was the next best bet for gold members so that saved the day a bit but um, yeah a little bit disappointing horses never really um, got into the race all that much they're really messy races in the end weren't they especially the premium tip was sandwiched between two horses at a vital stage but was probably beaten at the time anyway but yeah it was just a little bit messy yesterday all of the races seemed to be it wasn't the most entertaining viewing but uh, that's gone we've got a really busy day today and we're going to start off by looking at our premium tip for today which goes in the very first race of the day, so we want to get Saturday off to a flyer in the 125 at Haydock. Our tip here is Fabricate at 11 to 4. This horse was a winner at Salisbury last time out of a uh, maiden on that day, and I think there should be plenty more to come from Michael Bell's charge, and um, he looks to be the one to be on here. Adam Kirby is booked, and as I say, more improvement expected from this horse. Could prove to be well handicapped off this mark. I think the handicap might have been a little bit lenient and given the horse a really good chance. Looks to be decent value. Um, it's a race where there's plenty of potential improvers, but I think after that win last time out, this horse could be a little bit better than this mark suggests. Michael Bell's horses continue to be in decent form. Adam Kirby, I think, is always a positive jockey booking um, at a track like this as well. I think he'll enjoy and yeah, I think Fabricate represents good value for the premium tip today. Should go well there in the 125 at Haydock. As I say, looking to get a day off to a flyer at 11 to 4. Today's little earner, we go across to Ireland for that. And our tip here is Hot Sauce in the 430 at Curra. And this is currently around about the 12 to 1 mark. Now, this horse was a winner of a maiden at 18 to 1 last time out, but there was... No fluke about that performance. If you watch it, it was just a genuine performance. And on the day, this one was the best horse in the race. Just because of the odds doesn't mean that it can't have been a, a genuine performance. doesn't have to be a fluke at those odds. Um, and I think the horse looks as though she's pretty promising, to be honest. Again, I think the handicap has been quite lenient on this one. And I think this is a great chance for the three-year-old to gain another success in handicap company. Trip looks to be perfect. Conditions look to be good. I think this horse sticks a few boxes, to be honest, and the price available is pretty big. But again, it's one that really varies. Some bookies are short of 7 to 1 about this one, so do make sure you do some value searching because 12 to 1 is still available with some bookies. So that's the little earner hot sauce in the 430 at the Curra. As it's Saturday, that does mean that today's Lucky 15 is, of course, free. And um, to make it e easy for you, as we do every week, what I've done is popped the um, popped the link in the comments box below with the bet slip for the Lucky 15. So all you have to do is just find that, click on it, um, the Lucky 15 link, and that will bring up a bet slip with all of the selections already in there for you. So all you've got to do is click and bet. Really, really simple. So hopefully you can get on that. In terms of the big races today, well, you'll see um, in that lucky 15 that I've gone for one in the Temple Stakes, the group two, um, I think that this horse has a good chance coming um, back onto soft ground, the one that it won last year. This horse um, won this race last year, so that's probably given it away, but it is in that link anyway. Um, yeah, Glen Eagle's going to be really, really tough to beat in that 2000 guineas, nothing original about that. And I love, my probably my favourite horse, um, over the past few years, Soul Power. I think he's just an absolute gem of a horse. Um, he goes in the Group Two, um, the Group Two at the Curra today. It's the two forty-five, I believe. Yeah, and he's currently four to one. Soul Power, and I'd love to be backing him at that price, but I just don't know if the ground's quite quick enough. And um, 
six furlongs he hasn't won over. I mean, you know, I'm all over this horse with Royal Ascot on quick ground over five furlongs, but over six furlongs, I don't know. I'll be happy to just watch him, hope he wins, but uh, not bet today. But yeah, probably my favourite horse in training at the moment, uh, Soul Power. Hopefully I uh, can do the business today, but not from a tipping point of view. So let me know your fancy today as well. But for today's video, that's just about it. So thank you for watching. Speak to you later and bye-bye.